Hi everyone, I'm Veronica. Welcome to my page. I always get questions about how I make my mandalas or what apps I use and I decided to make short videos like this one just to show you kind of like a step-by-step -step tutorial if you want to call it of my process. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, so first let's open our adobe fresco app on the ipad i use a 2100 by 2100 pixel square and i fill the background with one flat color i also lock the background just so that i don't write on top of it i open the symmetry tool which is perfect for creating the balance and repetition that a mandala requires. If you haven't used this feature before, it allows you to draw on one part of the canvas and Fresco will mirror it automatically across the other sections. Then you choose the brush that you want to use. As you can see, I have a ton of brushes and these are all brushes I have made myself. But if you're a beginner, you can start with the basic brushes that come with the app. I usually start from the center of the mandala or of the page outward. That way I can maintain a sense of flow and harmony in the design. I will be fast forwarding some areas of the video just to keep the flow going. I start adding more intricate patterns as I go, sometimes mixing other types of brushes and colors to give the mandala a more fun <laughs> shape. Through the years, I've been working on making my own Photoshop and Procreate brushes. The Photoshop brushes I have been using here in Adobe Fresco too, so it makes things easier and because I don't have to draw every little single dot or every little single line. I've already done that by making my brush the first time. So these are some uh, fractal brushes that I made a few years ago. I also have them for sale at my shop. They are so much fun to use. And Adobe Fresco lets me use all the colors from a background. So when I put the stamp of the brush, it just makes it colorful and interesting and adds some depth. I keep adding um, different stamps or different brushes or brush strokes just to make it more fun and sometimes I like things how they come out sometimes I go back and re you know and redo it or erase stuff that's what's fun about digital that it allows you the freedom to make mistakes and go back and fix them I also love working with a black background just because colors pop up so much better with a back black background but you can use any color you want whatever you prefer it's your choice all of these are brushes i have created and reused so many times but i love using them because every time i use them they look different and they never look like i repeated a pattern or repeated a design as you can see here i like to go and <laughs> go back and delete stuff and try again and delete it and try again until I'm happy. Sometimes I don't know where when to stop. I just 
I have to sit back for a minute and think, is this too much? <laughs> and then sometimes I continue, sometimes I stop. Sometimes the next day I look at it and I'm like, oh, it needs more. And I keep adding. So sometimes I feel like my designs are never finished. Like I want to go back and add stuff to all of them. <laughs> but, but I don't because cause that would take forever. Okay, so this is it for now. I hope you enjoyed my video and see you on the next one.